Hey guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. It is time for another project. We're here midweek, so the kids and I are gonna get something done. And we just fed the yearlings their cubes, and let's just say that these moms feel like they would like some too. We have a lot of projects going on, and really the projects that we're worried about are all in preparation for us to work the animals in a few weeks. So to get the handling facility ready and the gathering pen and pasture five all wrapped up and running water and finishing up that well house to keep everything from having any pipe issues, the list is pretty long. I end up with kind of some of the odds and ends of that list. And one of those little odds is this dog pen right here. So we got the dogs last spring, um, very spur of the moment. <laughs> and we had to find a home for them very quickly. Damn. This particular pen that we set up borders the buffalo on three sides, which made it a super fast build. Um, I loved that. However, our goals are to use this particular spot where Clark's going along this fence, follow the fence line over here, where then they can go and we can drive the tractor over into the gathering pen or down the alley to five. So this is kind of this access area that's being inhabited by two Great Pyrenees dogs. Hi Lucy. He's happy to have you girls here with her. And Mr. Darcy too, down girl. Down. Ow. So we have this woven wire fence and um, it's been working okay. The height is all right. Obviously the dogs will jump up on it. Busy. So we have to have something this tall at least for the dogs. So we're going to end up breaking this all down and resetting it up. But today we only have a little bit of time. So I want to set up some corners today and maybe remake their gate that I want to use. And we're going to go over to where we had the pigs originally. We'll use about half of that area and create a new dog pen for them. So just kind of wanted to give you a feel for what's over here, kind of the size they have. They have a big tree, they have a shelter. There's gonna be two trees where they are being moved to and we'll move their shelter and rebuild it over there as well. So it should be a really nice setup. What we're missing though is a bunch of T posts. So I did have to go buy those because all of these three sides are gonna keep those T posts because that's the buffalo fencing. Um, we just get to pull out some of these. So I'm going to get to use that new tool that our viewer sent. So we'll go ahead and get to see how that works to pull out T-posts. Um, so right now we're gonna go get set up and kind of map out our area. So here we are, we're up at the big metal building. Um, so that's where this sidewalk is gonna go down and we're gonna set up this north section of this big area. So this whole thing used to be a pig pen. We had taken it down, we moved the pigs, and we took down the fencing. Some of it remains at the corners. We still have a few H's, so I'm gonna investigate. I've got this one spot down there where Lorna's walking where there's a gate, and we're gonna take that down, and we need to set up our corner bracing um, and reset things that way because obviously this one's not gonna work. So I've got several H's we need to make. Now we're just gonna do T-post with a little bracket system like we did in the pig pen. So I've got stuff set up for that. Again, they've got two pine trees. And so we're gonna take just this north section. There should be plenty of shade and plenty of room to run, but also keep them contained when we're not here at the property. So we're over here at the gate. I've got some hinges I'm just gonna unscrew and take off the gate. And so then we can kind of look at that and see if there's what other changes we might do to this. Um, and then figure out our corners. There's a little baby praying mantis on the gate. <laughs> when we made this gate, we got this gate kit with these corners so that way it would stay strong. And the frame of it is really strong. I think I was worried about some of our fence boards. So I'll, again, I'm gonna look at that, check the height, um, and get that ready to remount over where we actually want it. We decided the height isn't bad actually, but we do have some boards that are broken or too loose, so we're gonna have to work on replacing or fixing that. But otherwise our gate should be working pretty good. These two posts are no longer an H, so we're gonna go ahead and get the tractor and pull them out. Um, we won't need that T-post, the big tall eight footer anymore either. And on the other side, we do have one wooden H on the right that is still good. On the left, it's just the remnant, so we're gonna pull that.
Yep. Oh no, they're back in. Oh, I got her. this wedge lock system and we're doing this corner guy right now so we have just put in this post so we're about to put in these other two posts and then put on our angle pieces so kind of this distance measurement um, we kind of map that and then we can move on drilling in two more and this corner set for the things to start wrapping again we're just setting up the posts we'll get ready with the wire mesh fencing you know yet yeah, tomorrow All right, Mara, I think we're ready. All right, now it's the test to see if it all works or if we have to move a T-post. Okay, so we're just trying to figure out the right height for our little gadget guy. Because this guy is going to sit. Okay. I don't think it's it though. No. Alright, so then he sits in his home and we're gonna get another one for this side over here. Okay, so then this guy comes in this side. So they're in their corner and now we have to go get the bottoms on. All the way down there. On top of it. Yep, that's why I think you're done digging. Okay, now that guy. And then we can. Man. Man handle. Man handle him. I don't like being man. <laughs> there. It's tight. Yeah. Sure. That's what we like. Yep. Okay. I'm going to bend that back a little bit. Okay. There's a pliers that I used to live in here. So we've almost got this corner finished. Um, I wanted all the bracings up. This one H right here we're keeping, but we're gonna need a brace coming this way. And then we're finishing up that gate area. Anyways, Clark was working on the corner over there and trying to set a post for us. So we're gonna go check on that, but our time's about done for today. So it means we're gonna come back tomorrow, finish up our corners, dismantle the dog area, start setting them up over here and getting them moved. All right, so yesterday we were supposed to finish our dog pen setup. It rained, it was freezing. We're like, nope, not happening. So today, today is gonna finish out our dog pen project. So here we are at the original dog pen. And um, we have had the elders over and one of their service they did for us was to help take out some staples at the posts and unwrap things and get our mesh wire here ready for us to break down and be ready to haul off. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so we're gonna be getting ready to take down all the wire, roll it up and bring it over to our new pen spot. Um, we still have a couple corners to finish up, but it shouldn't take too long. So we're gonna go ahead and get going and we'll see all the progress, hopefully, hopefully, no, it will get all done today. One of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble their little shelter so we can reassemble that before we put the fences up. And so we're gonna take this load over with us and then finish working at the new dog pen and then come back for the fencing here. There she saw the apple. There we go. One board off. Okay, so we've got the roof off and it's just a pallet, um, two by two by two square. However, being dogs and such sandy soil, they spend way too much time digging in here. So this is how much space they have inside. We keep a water bucket in there for them and plenty of food. And they do great. 
Um, I'm excited for the new location. It's not nearly as sandy, so I don't think we'll have quite the digging problems. And some of these pallets are kind of sad. So we have some pallets we can replace the ones that are dying on us here too. So we're gonna go ahead and finish breaking this down. We'll leave the T-post because I've got that T-post puller. So once I come pulling this line over here, then I'll be sure to come in and grab the T-post for this too. So we made it back over to the dog pen. We've got our big load of stuff and we're gonna unload and kind of map out the new dog pen, um, the new dog house spot. And then we'll finish up here and go get all the wire mesh so we can start fencing them in. Mrs. said that all these have to go actually down, so we're going to do what she says. All right, so we strapped this sucker down. Got all the T-posts down. Of course, come to find out, we did find some other shorter T-posts. But whatever. These guys are in. I'm not taking them out. We rebuilt the primitive shelter, and uh, it was dry before. It's dry now. They have fur for a reason, so they're going to use it. Otherwise, as things are taking shape, my wife's down over here. She's getting the fence. This line is now pretty much complete, and they're about to embark on this next little line and come back up. This is wrapping up. I've got actually a few more things to do. The place that we were just at, I'm gonna go back with a box blade, scrape it out, try and level it out, try and define that alleyway, um, and then also move some dirt for some plumbing purposes over here. It's gonna freeze tonight. It's gonna get down to 29, 30, something like that. And if the wind is blowing, wind chills will be in the 20s. So I need to get some of these pipes covered up. Otherwise, it's taking shape. It's taking a long time today.
All right, so as I mentioned earlier, I just it's gonna get cold. The pipes coming from the tank are tied to that tank up there. They're already buried in this guy just because of water, rain, it's already kind of done that. This other pipe that was here is actually not filled and it goes over to the, the big barn. So I'm not worried about trenching or getting that one down. I'm actually not gonna fill in the rest of this because there's a chance we wanna go from the electrical box that's in the plastic and run another 60 amps over here. So that's kind of still up in the air and because that pipe isn't water filled, I don't really care. But this is here, this is done. It's gonna settle and we've got to probably add a little bit more dirt. I'd like to actually mound up a bunch more dirt over by the tanks. Um, the temperature isn't gonna to get too bad, so I'm not worried about it right now. Once this kind of settles in, I'm gonna come back eventually and just regrade a lot of this with a box blade and get that going. So one last spot over there by where the dogs used to be. All right, everything's done. They got it done. Wow, it's getting dark out. We got all the fence. We just had to cut some stuff a little bit. And it's up. So dog food, dog water. This is bigger than they had before, I think. I don't know, maybe it's not. But we just had to trim it here. Otherwise, we've got excess woven wire, which will be used surely somewhere else. Otherwise, gosh, this took a long time. Never finishes as fast as you think it does. Well, the other thing that I got done was dragging out over there by the tree where the dogs used to be. It doesn't look super pretty. It wasn't super, I don't know, I can't imagine taking pictures of that and filming it. But anyway, it's kind of flattened out. It took down a lot of the brush, so it's kind of cleared out everything. Just used the box, box blade on the back. And then um, the front bucket, I put that on and tried to chip away at the hill. You'll see it here in the future. But um, anyway, I think we're gonna wrap it up. I got some few other pipes to bury. The valve areas over by some of those troughs. Sun's going down, we're gonna get cranking on that. So anyway, thanks for joining along guys. We will catch you next time. Always appreciative of all the helpers that come out. Mark came out, you saw him, and then the elders of course were also here. So anyway, catch you guys later next time at Black Acre Ranch. Like and subscribe, see ya. Oh.